Oh fuck. Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you new, what's up? If you old or you watch all my videos before, what's up? But today, I'm outside. Cause it feel good out here. And um I just got tired of doing um like get ready with me and shit. So I'm like, let me just throw some shit on my face. Pop this wig on and let's go talk because I want to talk. I got shit to talk about, but I just didn't feel like doing no get ready with me. So we here. So enough of all that. Today we about to talk about um I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. I don't know if I'm gonna do it like um advice for your 20s or like lessons I've learned in my 20s. Pretty much just like oh my camera's about to die. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Be right back. Hey y'all, so I'm back. So the devil always be fucking with me, y'all. Why the fuck my um computer? I mean um camera battery died as soon as I started recording. So I had to go get my old camera. I can't even see myself right now. So I hope that it's not like too zoomed or whatever because I can't see myself. But the show must go on, bitch, because I got something to say today. Period. Anywho, we're talking about, um, like lessons that I've learned while being in my twenties. So, um, if you don't know, if this is your first time watching me, which is not uncommon, it's fine. Welcome to the fam. What's up? What up? I'm Lauren. Um, I'm 23. And I'm from Detroit, so I got a little credibility, you know. I'm from Detroit, you know. We we went through some things, you know. Shan, so um, yeah. So first of all, this was not okay. So I made a list, okay. Might not work, but the number one that I wrote down is not the number one that I'm gonna say because bitch. Something just happened, and I gotta tell y'all about this. Okay, okay, okay. Number one, bitch. Um, advice. Well, lessons, advice, whatever you wanna call it. Number one, bitch. If you know someone, or you're close to someone, you have a friend, a relative, or whatever. If you know someone that's in a abusive relationship or you know like you know that friend that keep going back to say toxic nigga you know type shit don't make them feel bad you know if you gonna be their friend either help them through it or don't fuck with them at all like if they like come venting to you all the time about the same nigga and then they hate this nigga and then they love this nigga and they hate this nigga then they love this nigga if you don't want to hear that, just don't be their friend. Don't, like, when they be talking to you, be all huffing and puffing. And, you know, just, like, because, like, people know when they're in an abusive relationship. And then it's, like, it be people that be like, oh, some people don't know they're being in an abusive relationship when they're being gaslighted, blah, 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 blah. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that know they in some shit, but it's hard to get out of it because... I just um I made this um a status earlier and I made a tweet and I said what I just said like you know if you have someone in your life that's in an abusive relationship don't treat them like shit like don't make them feel shitty because it don't make the situation better if they feel like they don't have nobody to turn to like you know what I'm saying and I had somebody tell me oh no no they was like um well how can you make them feel like shit and I'm like you know what I just said like you know if they're talking to you don't make them feel like you annoying them every time they call you and then they was like so um but that's um that could be emotionally draining to the other person and blah 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 I'm like okay well you can tell them you don't want to hear that but does that mean that a person doesn't get the right to vent to their friend just because it's emotionally draining and uh they was like okay well what if um it didn't get emotionally draining until after a few times that they vented and i'm like okay well they should have said um you know sooner that i'm tired of you hearing about that bitch like don't tell me about that shit no more they should have said it sooner and then so the other person the person i'm talking about they was like um no the person should have left their abuser sooner y'all almost fell out my fucking seat like 
what that person should have left their abuser sooner like that shit that is crazy like that shit file that people really out here thinking like that like that people who are in um toxic or abusive relationships can just easily just snap of a finger and just be over it you know like that shit crazy that people really think that and people really say shit like that like oh it's emotionally draining when you vent to me and you should have left your abuser sooner because i don't want to hear that and that's supposed to be your friend i was like nice to know you feel that way i'll never tell you shit <laughs> ever because hell no period but that wasn't even number one but that's number one now because that shit was fucking crazy to me but um yeah y'all don't be like that don't be like that if you have someone in your life that's in um a bad situation if you don't want to help them or if you don't want to hear about what they're going through just don't fucking talk to them but don't 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 make shit worse that shit ain't cool like especially when when niggas know they in a fucked up place but it's like hard for them to get out the fucked up place and then it's like people around them that they come to for support make them feel even more fucked up like that's fucked up it's fucked up so um, yeah anyways um Number two, um, a life lesson that I've always, oh, well, boom, people will always disappoint you. Always understand that people are going to disappoint you your whole life. Your family, family members are going to disappoint you. Your best friends go disappoint you. Your nigga, your girlfriend, your whoever, they're going to disappoint you. So just just don't i ain't gonna say don't take everything so personally but just like you know when you just don't expect too much out of people it'd be hard to be hurt by you know the stupid shit they do because even like some shit like that like the story i just told you you know imagine being a friend in the abusive relationship and then you go and to your friend and then they be like, well, bitch, you should have left that nigga because I'm tired of hearing about that shit. And you be like, damn, <laughs> like, ouch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be shit like that. So it's just like, you know, when you go, see, another thing, another thing, number three, bitch, don't vent to people. Keep your fucking business to yourself. Keep your business to yourself. And I'm not even just talking, like, because before that happened, I was going to say that anyways. But because it happened, I'm going to emphasize this shit even more. Keep your business to yourself. Don't, don't tell nobody your next move. Um, Financially, career-wise, nothing. Like, don't tell, who calling me? okay <laughs> i'm back um my damn mama called me from in the house asked me for my amazon password <sighs> anyways um yeah don't tell nobody your next move don't if you got like a dog ass job interview don't tell nobody until you get the motherfucking job don't tell nobody you geeked about something because niggas they just put they bad energy on you and they just bad vibes on you and sometimes like when you tell people something you excited for and they not excited for you it make you less excited for your own shit and that's 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 not cool nobody should feel like that like um i know that it was a um like before i start well not even before i started my youtube channel as i'm doing my youtube channel now it's so, like i have one person who i can guarantee will watch my videos and watch my videos without me telling her to watch my videos one person um my mother is not supportive of my um youtube channel um people that i've been in a relationship been in relationships with their they weren't support the talk they were not supportive of my fucking youtube channel they were not supportive of you know me putting my life on the internet you know 
um, taking pictures, you know, for Instagram, you know, social media shit. Like, niggas wasn't, like, like, that's another reason why, and I'm not using this to blame nobody, but that's another reason why my Instagram ain't as popping as I want it to be because I really be feeling, like, awkward to ask people to take pictures for me so I can post them on my Instagram. Like, I, like, go out. Like, I go out and... I don't get no good pictures because I'd be scared to ask people to take my pictures because I'd be feeling like they're going to be like all huffing and puffing and not want to take my shit. Or they're going to take my shit all ugly and blurry and with my fat roll hanging and my fucking necklace all twisted up and shit and just shit. So I don't even ask people to take my pictures no more. So like all my shit be like selfies and it's just like stupid shit. So shit, we had three already and I ain't even, I only went to one on my list. I should have brought me some motherfucking juice, bitch. I'm thirsty. Um, do I got something to drink in my room? I think I do. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, bitch. I'm back. Um, number four. Get your own shit. Get your own shit. Period. Get your own shit. Okay? Do not depend on nobody for shit not your sister not your brother not your sit your boo not your mama excuse me not your daddy not your best friend don't depend on nobody for nothing as soon sorry i i like drank that water like it was my last piece of water um yeah don't depend on nobody like as soon as you are able to get your own shit and i mean everything when you able to get your own car you better keep up with that car get your oil changes bitch get them tires um um like rotate them tires out bitch get your winter tires get you some summer tires bitch get you some backup tires bitch get insurance on the motherfucking tires bitch get some good car insurance get the full coverage bitch like get triple a bitch like get your own shit so you do not have to ask nobody for nothing okay like um you know say oh like even starting in high school like you know how and I know like Corona and all that shit going on or whatever but and I don't know how they're gonna be doing as far as like um, college admissions going forward but like them standardized tests bitch that you need to get in the motherfucking colleges bitch get them grades bitch so you can get in college with your scholarships okay you ain't got to worry about no um family income or nothing like that you ain't gotta worry about your parents funding your college so they can tell you what they want you to major in because they paying for it or um you under they roof so you gotta do what they say and what they want and blah blah blah, blah. get your own shit bitch and i don't give a fuck what age you get it and i don't give a fuck if you can move out and get your own shit going when you 16 bitch do it if you can do it at 18 bitch do it if you can do it at 21 bitch do it if you can't do it to you 25 bitch do it if you can't do it to your motherfucking 32 do it i don't care when you do it just do it because bitch like no like depending on people and um letting people have that one up on you even when it's your parents like just it's just mm -mm. people are just so fake and phony and it's just literally like like the like snap of a finger so just don't just don't even because no it's not worth it so get your own shit get your own everything learn how to change tires bitch if you can bitch learn how to do your own hair bitch um shit if you get manicures bitch learn how to do your own shit go get some nail polish bitch go get your own shellac and get you a little uv light bitch do your own shit get your own shit do your own shit anything that you can do for yourself do it for yourself do it for your mother Number five, I think, young. Stop being so fucking forgiving. Stop, um, you know, like, stop giving people so many fucking chances to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Um, and I, I ain't just talking about, you know, these niggas like going back to the same nigga, blah, 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 blah. I ain't talking about that. I'm just talking about everybody in general. Like, um, like just give people about a couple chances and when, and just like stop letting people, because the way when you let people fuck you over, over and over and over and over again, they be like, oh, you know. It ain't shit. Like, I'ma do this. You know, she gonna be mad for a minute, but she'll get over it. Oh, she'll be mad for a minute, but she'll get over it. Like, no. Stop getting over it. Get over them. Fuck them. Stop letting people just do you any kind of way, because, no. Like, have some, have some self-respect and some dignity and some, all that integrity. Like, all that shit. Like, don't let people just treat you any kind of fucking way, because, no, bitch. Like, if you gonna be a bad bitch, they act like a bad bitch. And let everybody else know you a bad bitch. Period. Because, no, niggas will have you fucked up if you let them. They will. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, so next. Trust yourself. You don't always need someone else's opinion on what you're doing. And that pretty much goes to, like, keeping your shit to yourself. Like, say, like, um. Mm, okay, say you got a job offer. And you like, oh, should I take this? You know, you can't ask for people's opinions. It's not the worst thing in the world to ask for people's opinions. But you don't have to base your opinion on other people's opinions. Like, say um, you ask three people. And two of, them, two of them said, no, don't do it. And then one of them said, yeah, do it. Don't just not do it just because two people told you no and one person told you yes. Like, you do what you want to do. It's okay to take opinions but you don't always need an opinion sometimes you don't always even need to ask nobody just do what the fuck you want to do like if you want to go to the grocery store today just do it like just just go like you don't need nobody to go with you you don't need nobody to do shit like just do what the fuck you need to do for you and that's it and that's all because just no and um okay so i got two more one is clean as you go and i mean that for the kitchen like you know if you cook like make sure like try to i know like you know when you cook it be like a lot to like put the food up and wash the dishes and all that right after you eat because bitch i don't even do that so that ain't what i'm talking about but if by the end of the night you can have all that done and put up and have the dishes washed it's going to be much better when you wake up in the morning and walk downstairs to a clean kitchen. It's going to feel so much better than walking downstairs the next morning and you got your dishes piled up to the motherfucking ceiling from the night for, before. And then you got to do those dishes before you can even make your breakfast smoothie because you ain't do that shit last night because you fell asleep because you got the itis. Like, clean as you go. Like, you know, like, you know, like when we be getting dressed for the club, bitch, like probably not now because of Corona. I mean... I still go to the club because for Corona, but you know, don't, don't don't be like me. But you know, like when you get dressed and shit, or like when you do your makeup, like make sure you put all your brushes back where your brushes go. Make sure you put all your makeup back. Like don't leave your makeup table looking crazy. When you get dressed, don't leave all the random clothes that didn't fit and didn't look right all over the floor, all over the bed type shit. Like you know, make sure you put your shit back in the closet back in the dresser you know clean as you go that way you don't wake up one day and your room is a fucking tornado and you just like how did this happen you know so clean as you go and last but not least um keep it cute okay and i mean that in two ways keep it cute as in like your upkeep like um keep your nails looking presentable we don't want no chip nail polish we don't want no chip toe nails even in the winter bitch you still need a pedicure i hate bitches that feel like because it's winter and y'all wearing them motherfucking hot ass uggs that you don't need no pedicure still get them toes done still get them nails done still get them brows done you know what i'm saying don't be leaving out the house in no bonnets and i said that before you know what I'm saying? Like, still, you know, keep it cute. I don't care if you put on a little joggy. Like, put you on a little matching shirt, little matching pants, little cute little shoe. You know what I'm saying? Brush your hair. I don't care if you put it up into a ponytail. Like, just take a couple minutes and, you know, brush it. Take it out your body, your scarf, whatever you went to sleep in. You know, brush it. 
you know what I'm saying? Put a little gel on, a little ash control, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep it cute. Like, you don't have to be, like, top-notch bitch every day, but... You know, don't be looking like, you know, if I see somebody I know, I'm going to have to run and hide type shit. You know what I'm saying? Keep it cute. And keep it cute as in don't be out here like, um, you know, that them Twitter fingers. Don't be out here arguing with bitches on social media. Definitely don't be out here fighting bitches because for what? Not if a bitch try you, you beat that bitch ass. But they want to come just like don't be fighting over these niggas because these niggas if, if it was your nigga you wouldn't have to fight okay let's just say and dance um uh just you know keep it cute keep it keep it cute don't be out here getting all sloppy drunk bitch i ain't telling you not to drink bitch because i be drinking i don't give a fuck i ain't even gonna tell you oh don't be out here drinking every day because that's not cute bitch is quarantine i don't give a fuck if the world back open bitch it's still a lot going on it's still a it's still a lot going on in this world, okay? So if you need a motherfucking drink, bitch, take you a motherfucking drink, bitch. Take you as many drinks as you need, bitch. But just don't be out here, you know, um, drunk calling your ex. Don't be out here drinking and driving to your ex house. Don't be out here, um, you know, just sloppy drunk, just out here just throwing up and shit. Like, you know, like, keep it cute. Keep it cute. Keep it cute. Keep it cute. That's it. Like just, just, just keep it cute. And um, okay, this is the last one. This is the last one, and it had to go with um, stop being so forgiving to other people. What I'm gonna leave this video off with is forgive yourself. Okay, forgive yourself for whatever, whatever. You make a mistake, it happened, so sorry it happened, don't let it happen again, okay? You don't, it's, it's just not worth beating yourself up over something you can't fix. Like, if you do something wrong, apologize to whoever or do what you can to fix it, you know, or, you know, whatever you can, and just, it let it be like you know beating yourself up about it is not gonna make the situation change it's not gonna do anything but just put you in a worse place it's gonna probably fuck with your self-esteem and that never goes good you know what i'm saying so just just go with the flow you know live life make mistakes you know we wasn't born with a motherfucking handbook to this bitch we all out here trying to get it out the mud you know what i'm saying unless you was born with a motherfucking silver spoon but bitch most of us wasn't so uh, bitch just stop just stop taking everything so serious because you know shit happens shit happens and the same person that you made a mistake with i'm pretty sure they've made mistakes I'm more than sure. They have made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. It's a mistake, bitch. Bitch. It's fine. Like, it'll be fine. If it's not fine today, it'll be fine next week or next month or shit, next year. It, it'll be fine. Like, just learn to forgive yourself because um, life goes on. Like, while you still focus on this, it's this, this, and this happening. And you missing out on this, this, and this. Getting backed up on all this shit. Because you still worried about that shit. And that shit long gone. But you still worried about it. Like, no. So, that's all I had to get off my chest. I'm about to edit this video. Hopefully, the shit look right. Because I can't even see myself. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching my video, y'all. I'm about to go get back in the bed. Take this uh, wig off. Because, um... I don't want this on my head no more, but, uh, thank you for watching my video, y'all, and, um, I'm gonna try to be more consistent or whatever, but, uh, yeah, bye, y'all. <laughs>